story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. Not the intelligent design of some God above the clouds, but our intelligent design. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Um, and now fast forward to, to the early 21st century when we just don't need the vast majority of the population. COVID is critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. If we want to stop this epidemic, we need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under their skin. I mean, in the previously in history, if you were on the wrong side of history, if you didn't understand what was happening and you, were, and you, you lost the competition, then you ended up as some kind of serf or manual laborer being exploited by the people who understand and have the power. Now, if you're left behind, you're facing something far worse, which is to be completely irrelevant. They won't even need you as a serf or as a slave. And how, what to do with them and how will they find some sense of meaning in life when they are basically meaningless, worthless? My best guess at present is a combination of drugs and computer games. And this time, if you're not part of the revolution fast enough, then you probably become, become extinct. Many tyrants and governments wanted to do it, but nobody understood biology well enough. And nobody had enough computing power and data to hack millions of people. Neither the Gestapo nor the KGB could do it. But soon, at least some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. We humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. We are now hackable. It might enable human elites to do something even more radical than just build digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life.